So I'm at my mom's for the night. I am really tired tonight. Um, not been having the best of sleeps. Usually it's pain that wakes me up, but the last few nights at my apartment building have been an adventure. Let's just put it that way. I don't know what's going on, but I got a couple of complaints about my building. The first one is every time somebody leaves the apartment building and if they don't close the door nicely behind them, it will slam shut and then it rattles my door. And of course I jump, my anxiety. Let's do this. This happens like all night long. The second thing is, I don't know what they were doing last night, but they were banging. They were, it was so loud in there. My niece has been staying at my place for the past week, so I've been sleeping in the living room on the sofa, and all of a sudden around midnight, I just heard this like huge bang. And of course it woke me up, and then I was up all night long until about 7.30 in the morning. So tonight I went to spend the night at my mom's place hopefully going to get some sleep so I just put a movie on um, I think the movie is and then there were none based off of um, Agatha Christie's book so I'm gonna try to watch a little bit of that I've taken my pills for the night and I am hoping to get some much needed sleep the other thing I wanted to tell you was this is now Tuesday night slash Wednesday morning. I had my appointment with my pain doctor last Thursday, so I'm going to be doing the long-acting Oxycontin, which I take every eight hours. And then he added, for the times when the pain gets really intense, short-acting Oxycontin. So I have the two, I have the long-acting, and now the short-acting, that I only take the short-acting when I absolutely need to. And my pain control has been so, so much better. I'm so grateful. I had a little bit of a run-in with the pharmacist when I went to pick up my prescription. She basically ID'd me. And I got really upset because, first of all, there is no law in Canada that says she has to ID me. And second of all, it made me feel like because I was picking up Oxycontin, which is a narcotic, Almost like, is she, does she think I'm drug sourcing? Does she think I'm a drug addict out there trying to get my fix? And I got really, really upset. You know, as a ca cancer patient, I take the Oxycontin because I have severe pain. It's not something that I want to do. It is absolutely something I have to do. I have no choice. And if I had a choice, I wouldn't be taking them. Honestly, I fought it for so long. I tried to handle the pain on my own and I cannot and I got really really upset so I don't know I guess I'm my mind I'm still trying to to wrap my mind all around this you know it is getting really late it's almost midnight everybody's asleep here that's why I'm talking pretty low and I think I'm gonna try to get some sleep so I'll see you guys in the morning Nighty nighty. Good morning, YouTube. Wow, I made it through the night at my mom's. It's the next morning, and I actually probably fell asleep between 12, 12.30 last night, and slept all the way until almost 6 a.m. So I got almost six hours of uninterrupted sleep. Woo. I really needed that, really honestly, and I actually feel so much better this morning. It's like 8.30 or whatever in the morning right now. And um, it's a little bit chilly down here. And so I put my dad's house coat that I got after he passed away. And um, I really love wearing it. I mean, it's starting to fall apart, but I just patch it up because um, I really love this old house coat. It's just, I feel closer to him. And when I don't feel well, it's really nice to slip this thing on. Um, because it just makes me feel closer, like my dad is here, and it's very comforting. Um, so, yeah, I put that on this morning. And um, so today what we have planned is taxes. We're late um, for filing our taxes. And so we have to do that, my mom and I. 
and I need to work on my mom's computer. It's so slow. There's so much crap in there. I don't know what everybody has put in there, and so I need to clean that thing out. And what else am I going to do um, today? Oh, I had taken a chicken out, a whole chicken, but she wants to do hamburgers. So we're still going to do the chicken in the crock pot. Um, and I'll eat probably that tomorrow. Well, not the whole chicken. And um, I think she wants to do salads. I love homemade hamburgers on the barbecue. Oh, it's so good. Um, I got a poopy in my room. You take a poopy in your room? I took it. Yeah? What do you have on your neck? Um, I got... A poo emoji. A poo emoji, wow. A poo emoji. Yeah. My squirts. Yeah. Oh, are you smelling your poo emoji? Oh my goodness. Does he smell like poo? No. No? It's not poo. Well, that's good. I wouldn't want to. I chose fine. What's that? I chose fine. Yeah. A chair is so, fine. Show us your poo emoji. Let me see your poo emoji. Oh, wow. That's a nice poo emoji. This is my Michael. This is a Michael. Yeah. Michael. Cool. Michael. Yeah. I started going swimming. I'm going to ask Mommy and Daddy. About what? I'm going to ask Mommy and Daddy. Ooh. What was that? No, I farted. Oh, my goodness. Gracious me. You farted? Poo emoji fart. The poo emoji farted? Poo emoji fart. Oh, my goodness. I probably Well, I probably wouldn't want to smell him now if he just farted. He just farted. Oh my goodness. Are you tired? Oh my goodness, what was that? Oh my, what was that? What was that noise? Oh, um, I tried it. You farted? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, Lauren farted. Who did? Lauren farted. Or Lauren? Lauren farted my princess kitchen. Oh. I got a kitchen at home. You have a kitchen at home? Do you cook dinner in your kitchen? Yeah, what do you like to cook in your kitchen? I oh my cook. goodness, Santa. What is that? I farted. Again? <clears throat> oh my goodness! Oh my. That was quite the fart. This kind of fart. Yeah. Are you okay? No. Does your bum hurt? I would just throw on the camera before I head to bed for the night. I'm actually really tired tonight, which is a little bit surprising since I laid down around 12.30 this afternoon and slept till after 4. Um, usually I don't nap that long. I don't know. I was really tired, I guess. Um, but it's almost midnight. It's about quarter to 12 and I'm actually really tired. And so I've taken my pills. I don't have a lot of pain tonight, which is really good. I'm very, very happy about that. And um, I think I'm, yeah, I'm ready to go throw my pajamas on, lay down, and go to sleep for the night. I've got a movie on right now. I love my Android TV box. Probably about a month and a half ago, my aunts and uncles on my dad's side of the family 
got together and they bought me an Android TV box, which has been a lifesaver, trust me. Um, when I'm not feeling good or I'm having lots of pain or whatever, I just throw a movie on my Android TV box and I get to have some enjoyment. Um, it helps take my mind off things, so I really love it. And then my brother put, because I use Cody on my Android TV box, my brother went and put Simplified Build on it and it's really, really nice. I love it. Um, I've been watching a lot of Schitt's Creek. Um, if you haven't watched that series, you've got to watch it. So it's a Canadian show. And if you've ever heard of Eugene Levy, um, he, Eugene Levy, and his son, Daniel Levy, um, are the producers of this show. So basically, the plot of the show is the Rose family, which consists of the dad, uh, Johnny or John Rose, his wife Moira, Moira. So the son David, who's played by Daniel Levy, um, the dad, Johnny Rose, is played by Eugene Levy. Um, and then the daughter, Alexa. They were like multi-millionaires, billionaires, whatever. And they lost all their money. Their business manager, I guess, stole all their money. They lost all their money and they ended up losing everything. The government seized all their assets and properties and belongings. Um, but in the 90s, uh, Johnny Rose, the dad, had bought as a joke for his son um, a town called Schitt's Creek. You know, like you're up Schitt's Creek. It was supposed to be a joke. It was funny. Um, but the government allows them to keep this town that they own. So they move there. And they move into a motel there. And it's really funny because... Well, I've always really liked Eugene Levy's dry sense of humor. It's, to me, hilarious. Um, I really liked him on American Pie. I liked him on SCTV here in Canada. And... I like a lot of the Canadian actors, like I really do. Um, I think Canada, we've had some pretty awesome actors. John Candy, um, Jim Carrey, Keanu Reeves, I can go on um, and on. Michael J. Fox, we've had some really good actors, Canadian actors. But this show is so, so funny. So I'm almost done season three. Um, I do know that CBC has approved season four so we're gonna have another season coming but if you haven't seen this show you've got to see it the other canadian show that i really like um although i don't recommend it for anybody under 18 um is trailer park boys i really love them i think they're funny I've got a delivery coming tomorrow which i'm super excited unfortunately i'm not going to be able to share it with you until after mother's day because it's my mother's day gift that's coming my niece's um, and I went halfers and bought my mom a Mother's Day gift. Um, and she does watch my videos, so I'm not going to give it away until after Mother's Day. But when she sees it, she's going to flip. So that's coming tomorrow, um, sometime in the later afternoon. Which means i got to run to the bank. Yeah, it's, I've got banking to do in the morning. I've got quite a bit of stuff to do in the morning, so I need to be up, have my shower be alert get going for the day tomorrow um what else and i want to reorganize my um, pantry i did my kitchen cupboards today and i need to do my pantry i want to do a shout out to my bestie mark so my best friend um mark lives in winnipeg in canada we don't have the biggest population but we have the largest landmass for country in the world and so from winnipeg to our edmonton to winnipeg it's about 1500 miles it takes about i don't know like 15 hours to drive there and um so he does come visit me um usually every couple years i would like it more often but financially for both of us he has some health issues too and is um, on disability so it's not easy for the two of us because I'm on long-term disability and so is he so it's not exactly the best um, financially for us but we do try to save up so that at least he can come 
every two years. I can't travel right now because of the cancer treatments. Um, but when I'm able to travel, I'm really excited to go see him in Winnipeg. Um, so shout out to him. And he will be coming end of August, beginning of September. And I'm sure I'm going to have some pretty wild videos when he gets here. I'm really getting drowsy. Good night, guys. So if you liked this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, guys, happy living. <laughs>